Hello and welcome. I'm going to talk to you about using fungicides in your container gardening. And and before you get, you know, scared, there are organic forms of fungicides that you can use in your garden. And I'm going to show you just two examples. There are um, homemade um, recipes that you can do to help control various diseases like early blight and powdery mildew. But sometimes you really just need something commercial to take care of the problem. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. Now here's one of my tomato plants. This is a better boy tomato plant. And everything's looking good until you get down to the bottom. And you see this yellowing. And you see the black spots inside the yellow. This is a form of early blight. It's a fungal disease and you can easily take care of it with a fungicide. But what I do first is I can I clip all these leaves off and put them in the bag and discard it. It's important to get off these leaves that are already infected to make the treatment um, more effective. So just take your time and some of the leaves will pull apart really easily, but others you're going to have to cut away. I've removed the leaves that had the fungal disease on it. For this tomato plant, it was early blight. And you know it's early blight because the yellowing started at the base of the plant and was working its way up. Now I'm going to use um, a fungicide made of copper. And this is a low concentration level of copper. For your home garden, you don't need a high concentration. And I'm going to spray per the directions the front and backs of the leaves. So I'm going to give it a good thorough soaking. I missed some yellow leaves here. Get that off. And you want to give it a good thorough wetting. Now here's one of my cantaloupe plants. Uh, it doesn't have it too bad, but I see some yellowing down at the bottom. And I'm going to get ahead of the game and plant this too. So you can use this spray, this copper spray on your cantaloupe, on your cucumbers. Because I get um, powdery mildew, which is another summertime disease, I can spray this copper on that to get ahead of the curve. And again, you want to spray the fronts and the backs as best you can. Follow the directions on yours. Here is the yellowing that was starting to happen on my um, cantaloupe so I'm glad I got out here and started spraying so you just saw me use the copper fungicide which um, addresses a lot of different types of um, diseases that can be found on your plant I named a couple but there's a whole bunch that it will control so try to find a, um, a fungicide diseases that way you get more bang for your buck so you're not buying a whole lot of different fungicides for this plant and a fungicide for that plant so this is a copper this is one brand there's many other brands so 
The other fungicide is a citric acid based fungicide and you can use this one up to the day of harvest. And I used this one, I did find that on my um, cantaloupe, it was a little too strong if I could say that, it kind of burnt the edges of the leaves, but it was okay for my tomatoes and my other plants. Um, but this one you can use, if I haven't said already, up to the day of harvest. So that's pretty good if you're really battling a uh, persistent strain or whatever disease. I do want to note that when you're trimming those diseased leaves and limbs, uh, make sure you, you wash your shears afterwards or whatever you're using to cut so that you're not transferring that disease to your other plants. Also, give your gloves a good washing off as well. Sorry about that. My neighbor's dog is, is barking. But um, fungicides, they, these, the ones that I showed you are organic. And you can keep your diseases at bay. You can keep your plants nice and healthy and productive. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. But stay tuned.